how you are doing thank you very much for tuning on to my channel today i have a breaking news it's so sad it's a very very sad news a 39 year old british born uh, beautician donna francis has been sentenced to one year in prison for injecting kelly mayhew with a silicone both liquid injection she purchased on eBay in her basement flat in Far Rockaway, New York, America. She was sentenced to one year in prison yesterday. The family of the late Kelly Mayhew were very, very much disappointed. Her mom, Latrice, um, who traveled with her daughter for this fifth procedure, 500 miles away, uh, to fire rock away in Queens in New York to carry out this procedure broke down in tears and said she basically got away uh, Donna Francis basically got away with the crime she did she fought so hard to get herself extradited to uh, from United States to America to face trial this is no justice she said she has no ounce of uh, repatriation in her heart for the crime that she has committed and that her daughter has lost her life. If you ask me, I think her mom should be questioned because that's negligence. Why would you drive 500 miles away from your home to go to all the way to Far Rock Away in New York to carry a procedure in somebody's basement flat? I mean, there are programs on TV advising people about this. So many men and so many women have been left maimed for life, disabled or lost their life seven feet under because of botched jobs done. If you want to carry out this procedure, fair enough, it's your life, it's your body, but go to the certified American board and do a thorough research before you carry out this procedure. There is no hurry. It is better to get a, the right procedure done in the right place and be happy with the job because you're being patient and you did your research thoroughly than to be had I known. These are so many cases. There is a case of another African um, a lady from Jamaica who lost both hands and both of her legs. She was a beautician and she decided to go for this procedure in a quack stairway behind the house somewhere. And, and that was it. They injected silicone engine oil into her. She almost died. She was rotting. She had gingerines all over. And she's lucky to be alive today. And she's an ambassador who goes around preaching. But would my people hear? They won't hear. They will still, they still will go for this procedure. I just want to say people should be very, very careful. Do your research. Don't be carried away by what you see on TV. Don't be carried away by all of that. Don't be carried away by what you see on TV. It's not right. It's so wrong. Be very, very careful what you do. Be very careful. Before you decide to go for this procedure, do your research. Do your research and, and be grateful for it. And then you have aftercare. Pay. She paid it. Pay well. Pay good money. Good, good surgeons don't come cheap. She paid $1,600 to get herself killed. When the second injection was put into her butt by, by um, uh, Miss Francis, the so-called uncertified beautician, she went into cardiac arrest, which means the silicone traveled through all the veins, into the uh, nerves, into the main iota, and then she had a massive heart attack. She was found by the paramedics but at the bottom of the stairs in her basement flat, face down, and by the time they took her to hospital, she already died. So let this be a warning to our young men and young women. Vanity upon vanity, they say, is vanity. But no, vanity upon vanity is loss of life. You lose it. It doesn't lead you anywhere. Fair enough if, you, if you're having a reconstructive surgery because you have a natural disability or because of... Um, uh, a which becomes which is a corrective surgery or because you had an accident which is a corrective surgery that's fine but when you keep going back for vanity upon vanity in this case this lady had four procedures done and she drove 500 miles for another fifth procedure and she wasn't that lucky 
then that's that's just 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 pure negligence and and uh, regardless uh, uh, no regard for her uh, for her life or her age i'm, a, I'm afraid she's responsible for that she made that decision and this is the circumstances however hard it might sound but that's just the truth and i hope that latrice the mother of kelly mayhew will find somewhere in her heart to hold them you know so uh let this be a warning to a lot of people watch this video leave a comment and we'll be right back see you on my next video bye bye